coming to Purdue, I was thinking I need to join something that will keep me active. So I wanted to join a club that would keep me moving, but in a fun way. So I was looking at all the different like archery, rugby, ultimate frisbee, and then the Latin and ballroom dance team. What brought me to Purdue was a balance of I didn't know what I wanted to do, and through my research I knew Purdue could set me up for it. They also had a great program for undecided and exploratory majors, which is what I originally went into, because I was uncertain. There's a whole variety of careers, and I had no idea which one to pick out of all of them. So I came to Purdue, and then going into their exploratory program, I kept coming up with business again and again, and I was like, why am I not going into business? And then I reevaluated that, and I decided it fits with me, it fits with my personality, the way I think, so why not do it? Prior to coming to Purdue, I didn't have too much of a background in dance. I was in a ballet, but I hadn't really done dance in about seven or eight years. So as a competitive team, it really played on my analytics personality and how I was thinking and processing everything. You're analyzing exactly your hip angles, your rib cage angles, how your knee is moving. It's very analytical when you really get into the details of it, but it's different from my schoolwork. It's a nice break from it, but it's still using my strengths. The partnership is, I think, sometimes one of the most complicated parts about ballroom, but also one of the most beneficial parts because you learn so much soft skills. And having to learn how to communicate, it was a big struggle for me, especially at the beginning. Cradle American Spin. Cradle. Cradle hammer with Hammerlock. Um, basic. Uh, let's do an around the world after that. Then let's go to the face in the face or whatever it's called. Yeah, back to this, end it with this. Figuring out how we talk to each other about criticism and feedback is something that I've really learned from Barham, how you tell someone with kindness corrections, but also how you receive the corrections. Being able to communicate that on a one-on-one -on -one level was a really valuable skill because I think that could apply to my future in the workplace. How the ballroom competitions work is we have seven levels of dancers. So you start in what we call newcomer or pre-bronze, and then it goes up. People compete bronze, silver, silver, gold, and then your open level dances. At competitions as big as Purdue Comp, where you're having 40 couples compete one single dance against each other. You have what's called heats, and you each do the dance, and then you get moved to the next round. And then you move into the finals, where there's only six, seven, or eight couples on the floor. And that's where I want to be. For competitions, I'm a bronze dancer primarily, so I have those routines down. I know them, but then I have my goal level, silver which is what I'm trying to move into. And I am always practicing my bronze moves with ideally a silver level technique. For some of my dances, being openly fun is hard for an introvert sometimes. I've had my coaches tell me, you need more emotion. You're not gonna do well if you don't have more emotion on the floor. So you're gonna do fine at bronze, but silver, you are struggling to show your emotion for certain steps. Ballroom is, outside of classes, my most important part of being at Purdue. It's a big part, because I go to ballroom competitions and I cheer on my teammates like crazy whenever I'm not on the floor. And we're yelling, go Purdue, all the time. It's a big bonding thing and it really ties me into the school more than I thought it would. 
I personally am what's called an all-around dancer. I'm doing all four styles, which each style has four dances. So 16 dances at one level, and then I'm also competing all those same 16 dances at the silver level, my goal level. My goal is always to place in all my dances. I want to be the last six to eight couples on the floor, because those are the ones that get the ribbons. That's where I want to be. But that means you have to beat the other 30 couples behind that. And we'll proceed directly into our board's presentation. Seventh couple final. In seventh place, couple number 200. In sixth place, couple 210. In fifth place, couple 283. In fourth place, couple 169. In third place, couple 184. Dance really lets me express myself in a different way. It's hard to verbalize sometimes what you're thinking or what you're feeling. But with dance, you don't need to verbalize it. You just show it. My family, always with dance, they like to say, the way you carry yourself has changed. Ever since you joined dance, you're walking around with more confident. You look more confident. So even though I'm an introvert, I'm walking into the room with my shoulders back, head tall. When I joined ballroom to be active and to meet people in college and to see around, but I also knew it was a performance sport. So I knew it would help me in becoming who I wanted to be. I think you can show a lot of who you are on the dance floor, and that's what I love about it. <laughs>